Los Angeles, California. Thousands of fans pack the streets to celebrate another national championship in basketball. But in a city that's no stranger to riots, it doesn't take long for the peaceful party to go up in smoke. Rebels shoot fireworks from the safety of the crowd, putting officers in the crosshairs. It's total pandemonium. And as bystander Teresa Wang can tell, it's only going to get crazier. First thought that goes through my head is this is escalating, this is getting worse, and uh, people are getting violent. But she doesn't know the half of it. Oh, Jesus. They're, like, attacking them now. The wild throng attacks anything in its path. And on the road to destruction, the next stop is this convenience store. The manager tries to chase out a few looters. Unfortunately, she's got another thing coming. Rioters swarm the snack aisles and clean out the coolers. It was complete madness. I think they just figured they were above the law at that time because there were so many of them. The rush dies down. But just when it seems the thugs have had their fill, Be careful. they make another trip. This time, the greedy gangsters load up on boxes of merchandise. This is horrible. Collectively, the horde makes off with over $5,000 in goods. Cops bust up the riot. And with $1,200 in damage to the store, detectives will use the surveillance footage to make sure all the shoplifters pay. I just think it's pathetic that anyone thinks they can destroy property or steal things just because a team won a game. In the chaos of a crowd, these criminals felt invincible. But once cops pour through the video evidence, they'll all get cut down to size.